Greeting. As we gather together this evening on Good Friday, we pick up where we left off last night, and we focus ourselves this evening on, well, our Lord and his life and his, well, ultimately his death with a tenebrae service, service of darkness. It's more meditative. There'll be time to stop and, and think about the words that are being spoken. We'll sing some psalms and some hymns. And we'll leave quietly into the evening, um, just like we did last night. So I'm glad you're here. Please stand. The gospel for us today is from John chapter 19. We read. So they took Jesus away. Carrying his own cross, he went out to what is called the place of a skull, which in Aramaic is called Golgotha. There they crucified him with two others, one on each side, and Jesus in the middle. Pilate also had a notice written and fastened on the cross. It read, Jesus the Nazarene, the King of the Jews. Many of the Jews read this notice because the place where Jesus was crucified was near the city. And it was written in Aramaic, Latin, and Greek. So the chief priests of the Jews said to Pilate, do not write the king of the Jews, but that this man said, I am the king of the Jews. Pilate answered, What I have written, I have written. When the soldiers crucified Jesus, they took his clothes and divided them into four parts, one part for each soldier. They also took his tunic, which was seamless, woven in one piece from top to bottom. So they said to one another, Let's not tear it. Instead, Let's cast lots to see who gets it. This was so the scripture might be fulfilled, which says, They divided my garments among them, and cast lots for my clothing. So the soldiers did these things. Jesus' mother, his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene were standing near the cross. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing nearby, he said to his mother, Woman, here is your son. Then he said to the disciple, Here is your mother. And from that time, this disciple took her into his own home. After this, knowing that everything had now been finished, and to fulfill the scripture, Jesus said, I thirst. A jar full of sour wine was sitting there. So they put a sponge soaked in sour wine on a hyssop branch and held it to his mouth. When Jesus had received the sour wine, he said, it is finished. Then, bowing his head, he gave up his spirit. Please be seated. We'll read responsively Psalm 2. The kings of the earth take their stand, and the rulers gather together against the Lord and against his anointed one. Why do the nations conspire? The kings of the earth take their stand, and the rulers gather together. Let us break their chains, they say. The one enthroned in heaven laughs. Then he rebukes them in his anger, and terrifies them in his wrath, saying, I will proclaim the decree of the Lord. Ask of me, and I will make the nations your inheritance. The ends of the earth your possession. You will rule them with an iron scepter. You will dash them to pieces like pottery. Therefore, you kings be wise. Serve the Lord with fear. And rejoice Kiss the Son, lest he be angry, and you be destroyed in our way, for his wrath can flare up at a moment. Are all who take in him. The kings of the earth take their stand, and the rulers gather together against the Lord, against his anointed one.
We'll now continue by singing Psalm 22, O Sacred Head Now Wounded. the rest of Psalm 22 responsively. They divide my garments among them and cast lots for my clothing. Do not be far from me. Many bulls surround me. Roaring lions tearing their prey. I am poured out like water, and all my bones are out of joint. My heart has turned to wax, it has melted away within My strength is dried up like a potsherd, and my tongue sticks to the roof of my mouth. Dogs have surrounded me. A band of evil men has encircled me. I can count all my bones. People stare and gloat over me. 
They divide my garments among them. But you, O Lord, be not far off. Deliver my life from the sword. Rescue me from the mouth of the lions. Save me from the horns of the wild They divide my garments among them and cast lots for my clothing. continue by singing Psalm 27, The Lord is my light.
the rest of Psalm 27 responsively. False witnesses rise up against me, breathing out violence. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? When evil men advance against me to, to devour my flesh, Though an arm besiege me, my heart will not fear. For in the day of trouble, he will keep me safe in his dwelling. And my head will be exalted above the enemies who surround me. Hear my voice when I call, O Lord. Be merciful to me and answer me. My heart says of you, seek his face. Do not hide your face from me. Do not turn your servant away in anger. You have been my helper. Though my father and mother forsake me. Teach me your ways, O Lord. Do not turn me over to the desires of my foes. We'll continue with reading Isaiah 55 selected verses responsively. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Let the wicked forsake his way. Let him turn to the Lord and he will have mercy on him. For my thoughts are not your thoughts. As the heavens are higher than the earth, as the rains and the snow come down from heaven, <coughs> and making it bud and flourish, so is my word that goes out from my mouth. but will accomplish what I desire.
please stand as we continue with our next hymn, hymn 436, The Seven Words.
Please be seated. We'll continue with a reading from Lamentations inserted in uh, hymn stanzas from hymn 947, Lamb of God, Pure and Holy. Our first lesson, Lamentations 1, um, 1 through 5. A reading from the Lamentations for Jeremiah the prophet. How deserted lies the city, once so full of people. How like a widow is she, who once was great among the nations. She who was queen among the provinces has now become a slave. Bitterly she weeps at night, tears are on her cheek. Among all her lovers there is no one to comfort her. All her friends have betrayed her, they have become her enemies. After affliction and harsh labor, Judah has gone into exile. She dwells among the nations. She finds no resting place. All who pursue her have overtaken her in the midst of her distress. The roads to Zion mourn, for no one comes to her appointed festivals. All her gateways are desolate, her priests groan. Her young women grieve, and she is in bitter anguish. Her foes have become her masters. Her enemies are at ease. The Lord has brought her grief because of her many sins. Her children have gone into exile, captive before the foe. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, return to the Lord your God. We sing stanza four of Lamb of God, Pure and Holy. Reading from Lamentations for the prophet, or from Jeremiah the prophet. All the splendor has departed from daughter Zion. Her princes are like deer that find no pasture. In weakness they have fled before the pursuer. In the days of her affliction and wandering, Jerusalem remembers all the treasures that were hers in days of old. When her people fell into enemy hands, there was no one to help her. Her enemies looked at her and laughed at her destruction. Jerusalem has sinned greatly, and so has become unclean. All who honored her despise her, for they have all seen her naked. She herself groans and turns away. Her filthiness clung to her skirts. She did not consider her future. Her fall was astounding. There was none to comfort her. Look, Lord, on my affliction, for the enemy has triumphed. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, return to the Lord your God. We sing stanza two.
reading from the Lamentations for Jeremiah the prophet. The enemy laid hands on all her treasures. She saw pagan nations enter her sanctuary, those who had forbidden to enter your assembly. All her people groan as they search for bread. They barter their treasures for food to keep themselves alive. Look, Lord, and consider, for I am despised. It is, is it nothing to you, all who pass by? Look around and see, is any suffering like my suffering that was afflicted on me, that the Lord brought on me in the day of his fierce anger? From on high he sent fire, sent it down into my bones. He spread a net for my feet and turned me back. He made me desolate, faint all the day long. My sins have been bound into a yoke. By his hands they were woven together. They have been hung on my neck, and the Lord has sapped my strength. He has given me into the hands of those I cannot withstand. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, return to the Lord your God. We sing stanza three. We'll now continue with our thank offering.
Please stand. Christ became obedient for us unto death. Therefore, Christ has exalted him, or therefore, God has exalted him to the highest place. We pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. A reading from Psalm 51. Be gracious to me, God, according to your mercy. Erase my acts of rebellion according to the greatness of your compassion. Scrub me clean from my guilt. Purify me from my sin. For I admit my rebellious acts. My sin is always in front of me. Against you, you only have I sinned. And I have done this evil in your eyes. So you are justified when you sentence me. You are blameless when you judge. Certainly I was guilty when I was born. I was sinful when my mother conceived me. Since you desire truth on the inside, in my hidden heart you teach me wisdom. Remove my sin with hyssop, and I will be clean. Wash me, and I will be whiter than snow. Let me hear joy and gladness. Let the bones you have crushed celebrate. Hide your face from my sins. Erase all my guilty deeds. Create in me a pure heart, O God. Renew an unwavering spirit within me. Do not cast me from your presence. Do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation. Sustain me with a willing spirit. I will teach rebels your ways, and sinners will turn to you. Deliver me from bloodshed, O God the God who saves me. My tongue will shout for joy about your righteousness. Lord, open my lips and my mouth will declare your praise. For you do not delight in sacrifice, or I would give it. You do not take pleasure in a burnt offering. The sacrifices God wants are a broken spirit, a broken and crushed heart, O oh God, you will not despise. As it pleases you, do good for Zion. Build up the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with righteous sacrifices, burnt offerings, and whole offerings. Then bowls will be offered on your altar. Let us pray. God most holy, look with mercy on this your family, for whom our Lord Jesus was willing to be betrayed, to be given over into the hands of the wicked, and to suffer death upon the cross. Keep us always faithful to him, our only Savior, who now lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. 
Well, you may be seated. We now continue with the choir anthem. <laughs> 